Credit Karma Tax is a great tax software that offers a self-guided user interface and is the only truly 100% free tax software out there to file your federal and state return. Here's what you need to know about Credit Karma and filing your 2020 tax return. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor Investing and Personal Finance for Millennials. Now, I was really excited to do the Credit Karma tax review because last year they really stepped up their game with their user experience and the whole interface was just so beautifully created. However, I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed with my experience, and maybe this just was a one-off, but I had a really hard time accessing the tax software, and when I went to go contact customer support, they were pretty unresponsive and slow to respond. So maybe that's just my experience and that's just a fluke. Otherwise, I was able to get into the tax software and go through a complete review. So the first thing that you might want to know is whether or not Credit Karma Tax is free. And yes, it's truly the only 100% free tax software out there, including your federal and state returns. However, if you have some complex tax filing situations, you might want to look elsewhere because Credit Karma doesn't cover all of those situations. So what's new with Credit Karma Tax in 2021? They updated a little bit of their navigation and user interface inside of the tax software. One thing that you're not going to see is that Credit Karma actually sold this tax software to Square. And so your information is going to be with Square. And so if you didn't know that, and that's going to change your mind about this software, then you might want to consider something else. You're also going to see the tax software updated for the newest tax lock changes and the recovery rebate credit. Okay, so let's talk about pricing. You're not going to see any pricing plans on Credit Karma because again, it is 100% free, but let's go over those complex tax filing situations in which Credit Karma would not be a good software fit for you. All right, so linked on the tax support of creditkarma.com, you're going to see that they don't support multiple state filings, and you're also going to see that they don't support foreign earned income, underpayment penalty calculations, and married filing separately returns in community property states. I mean, these are pretty specific. I don't feel like a lot of people are going to be running into these issues, but if that's you, especially if you moved in 2020, then you're going to have to find a different tax software because Credit Karma does not support that. Okay, so now that you know it's 100% free, let's go through the tax software and I'll show you how this works. All right, guys, let's pop the hood on Credit Karma Tax, and I'm going to show you what this looks like on the inside. What's cool about Credit Karma is that it is linked to the same account that you create to monitor your credit score as it is to file your taxes. So it's just one account, one dashboard, and everything in between. All right, so once you get logged in, you are going over to the tax link up at the top, and then you are going to click the blue file for free button. All right, so let's take a look at the basic dashboard. So when you enter into Credit Karma Tax for the first time, you can select different tax scenarios and filing situations that's pertinent to your situation. And then it is going to go ahead and autofill those different sections for you into this dashboard. Then you can see some of the areas that I've already filled out have just this uh, clear edit review white button and then other areas under deductions and credits there is a blue start button in other words this is a section that I still need to complete and then where you see the white edit review button that's a section that I've already filled out now one thing as I was going through this for the first time is that let's say that you initially filled out the forms that you think you had, but maybe you're missing something. I really wish that there was something better than just 
looking for something else. And then as I clicked the browse more button, so it said, these are all the tax forms you can add to your tax packet. So I'm going through here and kind of taking a look. And one thing that I was specifically looking for here was the student loan interest form. And so I didn't actually see this listed. The closest I got to that was, uh, is it teacher <laughs> expenses? No, it's not. And so I had to back out of this and then actually search for it in the search bar. And then here it kind of auto populates some ideas for me and then it says go directly to student loan interest. One thing that I do appreciate about Credit Karma is that it has the title of the form and then also the form number so that you can know for sure that you are inputting the right uh, information from the right form. So let's say I paid $600 in student loan interest. And because I input that I made $100,000 this year on my W-2, then my deduction based off of my modified adjusted gross income, then I don't qualify for that deduction. I also said that I put in money into a retirement account. This is a new section. So then you can see all these different categories here. Now, I wanted to say that I had contributed to an IRA. So I hit start. So as I'm going through the retirement contributions section, it's nice that they have these little eye bubbles here that pop up and then gives you more information about what exactly that question means and what they're asking for. So if you ever need help, I do find that these little eye buttons are really helpful inside of the dashboard. Okay, one other thing that is kind of different about Credit Karma is that there is no summary page that lists out every single income situation or expenses situation. So as I was going through it, I'm like, oh, it just, <laughs> you click on this top uh, menu here and it's just gonna toggle between your deductions and credit section and your income section. So this is a very simplistic way that I have not seen other tax software uh, provide as in terms of a user experience, but I almost wish that there was that extensive list with links to different forms just to be sure that I have everything covered. Because if you're anything like me, if I don't have the forms in hand or if a form comes in late and I, I don't have it sitting on my desk, then I'm going to forget about it. And I don't want to forget about any of my forms because then that means I have to do an amended return and you know the drill. I'd much rather see kind of a list and go line by line as a self-guided experience to see exactly what forms are out there because it may prompt me to think, oh yeah, I do have a 1099 INT form and it's sitting right here. Let me go add that. Now I did that earlier and I do have a 1099 INT form, but let's say I had a 1099 div form. So I didn't see a way to really add that from this savings and interest. In fact, I think I have to go back down here. Let's see. Gains or losses from investments. There's the 1099 div form. Continue and then it's added. So then I can start that section and then it's going to list popular categories and then other categories. So I like how simple this is set up and lots of white space. I like that, especially when it comes to filing taxes. You don't want to have a lot of text on screen that can get very overwhelming. And then click start. Oh, one other thing as I'm filling this out is that you can see how this form, it's one form, but it's broken up into 
different page views, right? So what I like about Credit Karma is that they also give you the single page view option so that you can see everything in one scrollable page. I've been in other tax software where you kind of have to keep clicking excessively to get through one form. I much rather have this kind of scrollable situation on our hands, but I think if you were to break up one form into different page views, it prompts you to look at your form more accurately so that you don't miss anything. All right, so if you only had that div form and that's all you had, then you can go back to tax home and then you're always, this is going to be your home base. You're always going to come back here and kind of review Add forms if you need them using this search forms or browse more. And then, like I said, this browse more section, I didn't feel like it was all encompassing, but maybe that was just particularly for the student loan interest form. And then as you input new information into Credit Karma Tax, you are going to see your federal refund or the amount that you may owe update here up at the top. You can also click this view summary and then see everything in one pop-up screen and see how much you've input for your income, you, whether or not you took the standard or the itemized deduction in which Credit Karma actually gives their recommendation of what you should take and then how your taxes and refund or the amount that you owed is calculated. All right, so income, expenses, then you can go down to your state taxes and get started on that. All right, so if you're trying to file your taxes early, some of your state returns won't be available yet. However, a lot of them will be ready by mid-February. Then you can always go back in and a lot of the information that you've input on your federal return will be copied over to your state return. And then you may have some additional questions. Okay, one thing that I haven't seen yet inside of this dashboard is I haven't been asked about the stimulus checks or the healthcare marketplace questions, um, whether or not, I needed to report that, so I'm wondering if I did a stimulus checks, stimulus credit. Okay, <laughs> and then you can input how much you received. All right, so the recovery rebate credit is under family credits, even though I went ahead and told the software that I'm filing as a single person. So that's a little confusing and I have not seen the stimulus credit listed here. It was kind of buried. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised that it wasn't a standard question that popped up maybe under like my income section. So that is a little concerning because you want to make sure that you report that. Once you are ready to file your return, you can skip down to the review section and then get ready to e-file here. And then you can see that they're gonna do this summary, ID checked, a refund, and then go ahead and file. All right, so that's a quick rundown of Credit Karma Tax and their dashboard. While it is free and I do like the look and feel and navigating through the tax software is relatively easy, I just wish that there was kind of a list of forms that you could link to in each of the main sections just to make sure that I didn't miss anything because I, I didn't even see anything for the recovery rebate credit, which I know almost everybody is going to be uh, reporting that. So I'm quite surprised that it wasn't actually automatically listed and I had to go in and manually add it using this little search bar. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't like that about Credit Karma. Otherwise, this is really basic, simple, easy, and free.
So Credit Karma Tax is good for just about anyone. If you want a free solution, this is it. However, you can see as I was going through the tax software that I really wish there would have been kind of a laundry list of items for each of the major sections of the federal return that I could go back through and take a look at just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. So when you initially log into Credit Karma tax software, you want to ensure that you've checked all of the right boxes to make sure that you have the forms listed. Also, I thought it was kind of strange that I had to go and proactively search for the recovery rebate credit instead of it being listed like I had seen with other tax software. Otherwise, Credit Karma Tax is a great solution for a majority of us out there, but before you make a decision and sign up for this, make sure you do your research on your tax software. This is a big deal. I mean, this is your taxes we're talking about here. So if you wanna check out all of our other complete tax software reviews and video walkthroughs, be sure to check us out at thecollegeinvestor.com.